Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to set up Power BI. So Power BI setting up is very, very difficult sometimes because they the microsoft one ask about the work or the school email id not everybody is having the work or the school email id even though if you have you will be unsure that how to do it so in this video i'm going to tell you how you can do it so first thing is if you don't have work or school id then in that case what you have to do so there is one website called temporary mail so in on that website you have to go and you have to generate one temporary email temporary work email it should once you have that you have to go to the another tab on that tab you have to search for power bi login that will take you to the online version of power bi on that tap on that join now button and once you are on the join now button it will take you to the another window where it will ask you for writing the mail id which should be your work email or else school email on that whichever mail id you have generated from the temp email website you have to copy that and paste it over here once you have copied and pasted you just check the box and say next once you are on the next page it will ask you few details like your name your contact number you have to obviously write your name and your contact number and also it will ask you for the code to get the code you have to go back to that website where we have generated the email id it means the temporary email id there you will find if you will scroll down you will find the mail which is sent by microsoft to the work email which we generated which is obviously a temporary email you will just get you can get uh, the code from there and paste it in the main environment make sure you are entering the number in it it matters like i have added my correct phone number you can also add your correct phone number and your original name as well just to make sure that you are working on the correct one okay once you are done with everything don't forget to check the box and click on the next button once you will tap on the next button it will take you to the next window next window will ask you for the authentication in the case of the authentication what you are required to do is you have to get an microsoft authenticator application on your mobile phone whether you are apple user or you are android user you have to get it done so once you have both the things you have to make sure that you are going to you know download that application on your mobile phones and once you have downloaded there you have to press the next button once you have pressed the next button you will be on the page where it will show you a qr code so on the application itself you will get the plus icon you have to tap on that it will show you that new id that you wanted to add select the work and school and then scan the qr code from your desktop once you have scanned it it will start the authentication then on the laptop screen you will get one number prompted 40 50 60 whichever number it is you have to take that number and then you have to paste it in the authenticator application once you will paste it in the authenticator application it will authenticate your id and your id is created so now you can proceed on to the next step which is to log in obviously on the second step when we have entered few details about yourself your phone number your name there itself we added a password as well so those pass that password and the mail id that we have generated are the credentials for our power bi once everything is done and it shows the green light green check or green tick for you then it means you have done it successfully now you have to move to the desktop application that you have otherwise you can just go on to the one which will you know launch for you there itself you will find one download button once you will tap on that download it will take you to the microsoft store and there you have to download the power bi if you have not downloaded if you have already downloaded then tap on the sign in button then enter the mail id which was a temporary mail id which we generated just enter it over there enter the password that you created on the second step and then tap on sign in it will quickly take you into the power bi setup so i hope you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this